Hello guys and girls, this is Saras K, and today I am back with another Lost Content video. Today I'm going to be talking about unused or cut armors in Dark Souls 2. Now I have done a video that shows, showcased 16 uh, unused armors. You can check the link in the description, but nonetheless, let us begin with this video. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So the first armor, and it is a full set actually, is another variation of the Alon Knights uh, set. And this uh, set is kind of... Uh, weird looking like okay we know that uh, the Alon Knight set is already in the game but this set is different like even the model and the textures the bloom the like the rugged thing on the original one is a whole lot different like this one is really like polished it has a bloom effect like uh, I don't know like it's pretty much cooler and uh, like the gauntlets are longer there are more details onto the body like the headpiece is also like I don't know I feel it's like different totally different and you can see the difference between it and the original Alon Knight set and uh, you are going to see I have the cut one equipped and I'm going to equip the original one over it and you can see the difference like it is a freaking a lot difference and they do have icons and they are also as I told you different than the original Alon Knight set uh, but they do not have title or uh, description or short description sadly but um, it's pretty good looking and what has is the more interesting thing about it is that I was browsing the art book for Dark Souls 2 and I found the this set so they can cut one which is the Alon Knight set but the more polished one but the difference is the head it was the captain's one not the original knights uh, but it's uh, kind of like this one not the rugged one the original one and it's a pretty cool thing actually the second uh, armor or let's say a headpiece is the female version of the Ferris hat in Dark Souls 1 if you didn't know already in Dark Souls 1 uh, there was a hat called the Ferris hat and uh, it is in Dark Souls 2 in fact but it's called the hunter hat but in Dark Souls 1 the only difference is that when you wore it as a female the shape of it like is changed it is more like of a shorter uh, like hat variation of it and this variation is found in Dark Souls 2 in the files but uh, it comes uh, like in a different uh, ID like it comes exactly after the original hunter hat and actually this variation of the hunter hat does have a different description and icon than the hunter's hat the original one and it says a commonplace leather hat with a feather traditionally used by bow hunters the wild fowl coco was ever loyal to the goddess Evlana, and hunters place its feathers and their, ca and their caps in hopes of receiving the divine protection of the famed bird. And uh, yeah, it's kind of this uh, different story about uh, uh, like someone we don't know. Like it's weird that like I've I've never read that before. Like this is the first time I've ever read it. So. Uh, but the model, I think it's kind of different than the one in Dark Souls One. Like I think this is. Like, they they were meant to be shown uh, in Dark Souls 2, which is pretty interesting too, and pretty cool looking. And I guess someone, like, did a video, the White Knight, I guess it's called, he used that thing too, uh, which looks pretty epic on his cosplay. Now, the third one, you already know about this, but I'm going to say, like, a couple of important stuff about this armor, which is the barrel armor, and you all know it, but uh, I said, and all the people said that it has been removed from the game. Uh, like because of copyright issues and it was removed in the uh, Crown of the Old Iron King DLC but it isn't removed it's only like you can equip it and as you can see me in the Ivory King uh, DLC so you can see like it's still in the game and uh, they only removed it that only the other players or the other online players they cannot see you wearing the set but you can wear it yourself and like see yourself wearing it but the other players they are going to see the armor set that you have replaced it with and it has the model ID of the like uh, that corresponds to the item ID of the barrel armor and they said that as I told you they moved because of copyrights it had something to do with Kingdom Hearts I think like the logo on the barrel it like it matched the one in Kingdom Hearts you can see the logo on the right of Kingdom Hearts and on the left the barrel armor it is kind of similar you know like uh, I don't know why would FromSoft like put Kingdom's Heart uh, uh, like logo on the barrel armor maybe they didn't mean it but maybe they got into copyright issues and they had to scrap it from the game but it's still there which is pretty weird so yeah I hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe for my channel and I guess I'll see you later